Good morning. It is a weekday and we are starting the vlog in the car on our way to Disney to do something that we don't normally do. So a little different of a morning. Um, I'm still working. Like I have to log on once we get settled. I got some. You're meetings. finally fulfilling your work from a resort. Yeah, but Sarah, um, there's a store here that opens up at nine that we're looking for a tiki item for some friends of ours that we don't. We heard it might be back in stock today, but we we don't know. We really don't know. This is kind of a gamble. Right. Worst case, we got to spend the morning at the Polynesian. Sarah and James might go in the Magic Kingdom. Have yeah, a park pass, but. I need to find a window of time to then drive home from here. Right. So if you didn't know, there's a lot of construction going on in Polynesian and you can't enter through the main entrance right now. Looks like this is the concept art for a new entrance. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy they still have the wooden planks up top. Swanky. So Ken, the cast member, told us that all of those knots are all hidden Mickeys and we have never ever notice that. Don't know how you make a Mickey knot, but now that you see it, I won't ever be able to unsee that. The little baby is asleep. He'll probably wake up soon. And then I'll have somebody to hang out with me. Well, bummer. I felt like a super cool in the know Disney fan. Um, in line there's other people in line too they must have heard the same thing that they would be getting some today hopefully but while i was in line to get in the cast member came out and said if you're in line for the chips and salsa bowl we did not receive any in the shipment so not today hopefully another day and now the question is do we stay or do we go home we have to act now, basically. Yeah, I have like meetings that I was like, we can get home before these meetings, but if we start, then I don't have another break to get home for hours. Right. So we do have to kind of make the call. Already we decided that just for the logistics, it'd be better we go home now and come back later. So a quick peek at Cinderella Castle and back into the lobby. Showed a little. Uh, oh, really? You're vlogging now? Uh, uh, Awake during the day? This is great. This is great. I sometimes forget to vlog during the day. Uh, uh, but you are the perfect subject. Uh, Many hours later. It is 5.45. I'm actually still working. I'm still going to be working for a while because I have a call with Australia at 6.30. A very busy day. Talk a little bit more about that later because we had a really exciting announcement, which you should have gotten a notification on if you're like watching the leisure travel stock market. There was a big announcement today, but because it's such a crazy day, Sarah wasn't able to cook. I wasn't able to cook, so I literally just made some pasta and tossed some pesto, crushed pepper in it, and that's what we're having for dinner right now. Um, what was supposed to be a very ceremonial, exciting day today in the world of American politics turned out to be and still is a very sad portrayal of our country. And I think we'll touch base on that more, but we're watching the news right now, watching this unfold. For anybody who's watching who didn't follow up on, or didn't see this or don't live in America is, our president had a speech, and at the end of that speech, the, his followers marched to Capitol Hill where there was a very straightforward process happening today that would have, fine, but it would have been the final step to finalize Joe Biden as our president to be in 14 days. But the Trump supporters marched on Capitol Hill. They got past barriers, went where they weren't supposed to, outside of the building, and then they broke into the building. And then there was, there was a woman critically injured. They were just, there was a riot. 
inside our capital, inside our nation's capital. By domestic terrorists. By domestic terrorists. And I saw someone online that equated it to like, even during the Civil War, the Confederacy never got this close to the White House. Or the Capitol. Um, so it's a sad day, which should have been just a celebratory, exciting time of unity within both right and left coming together today. Democrats and Republicans coming together today from a legislative and legal perspective. But instead it's being, you know, taken away by these events. But I need to dig up this pasta and go back to my work for the next hour or so. Well, it's nine o'clock. I've been done with my meetings for about like an hour, a little more. Yeah, I still have to run some reports later, but we decided we're gonna shut off. We're gonna stop apartment hunting. I'm gonna stop doing my work stuff. We're gonna turn off CNN. Come on over, Sarah. Join us. We think we're gonna watch 30 minutes of Phil. Yeah. Um, just be by each other because we haven't been by each other. Well, I guess we were at Polynesian, but you were like, I was our, you had to like work. get situated to work. My company announced this morning, if you didn't watch, if you don't watch stocks, that we, Wyndham Destinations is buying travel and leisure. Yeah, um, big day. So, huge day. I've been working like a lot around it. That was announced today, and I've got a lot of work ah! to do. But today was kind of a yeah. bonkers day, so we're going to chill for 30 minutes. Yeah, chill, and then... Get back to it. <laughs> get back to it. Blah. So it is 11.50, I'm still working a little bit. Also apartment shopping. Also watching the Electoral College verification. They are asleep. Um, I was hoping to go to bed soon, but I'm kind of excited because this is like the final step of Joe Biden becoming the President of the United States besides the inauguration. And I might stay up after the events of today. A lot of the senators that were going to oppose the certification have withdrawn that. There's only one that will. So I may stay up and watch this whole thing. So we'll see. But in a very exciting end of a strange chapter in American history. So I know it's been months since we last went on Carousel of Progress, but uh, you really resonate with that family when the internet bonks out at uh, 12.30 in the morning, you're alone, and all of your Amazon voice devices don't want to play nice with you because they are not connected to the internet. So um, I actually had to stop working because of the internet. I don't know what's going on with that. So when we wake up tomorrow morning, I'm confident we will have officially all of the I's dotted and T's crossed for President-elect Joe Biden. Um, Gonna get some pajamas for James, gonna read the, the message, and get to going. It was a weird day, but that happens in life. You just gotta take them and roll with them and remember all the fun we had today, like walking around the Polynesian. We should get our new calendar any day now. It is the 6th, January 6th. Today's quote is by Deepak Chopra. All great things are preceded by chaos. Oh my god, that's so fitting for right now for today with the all the election stuff and right now with us all the chaos trying to figure out an apartment. Ooh, I love when these match up with our life. Look at these sonograms. They literally look just like him, which is a wild to think about. Um, how much life changes in, in just over eight weeks. Uh, but it's incredible. So I'm gonna have a swaddle, gonna get James up in a fresh diaper, get him in pajamas, get him all set, wake up Sarah, and uh, call it a day. One day closer to the weekend. I'm excited for that. It's good to be home. Believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.